well-equipped laboratories, experienced and committed faculty, a library, opportunities for co-curricular and extracurricular activities. All these make an educational institution stand out in its academic pursuits. It is, however, the research and development facility that takes an institute of higher learning to the peaks of excellence. It was in 1987, in a small room of St. Xavier's College, Ahmedabad, that the idea for a research center came up. Earlier, this center was referred to as the Foundation for the Health and Human Sciences. The trust that takes care of this research center today was instituted only in 1995. But from the very beginning, up to its current date and current presence, this center always perceives itself as the research center of the college. It has been set up in order to enable students and staff of the college to do research. But this research has to have a very, very specific slant that is the stamp of what the Jesuit fathers who run the college and this research center is about. Inside the lush green campus of St. Xavier's College Ahmedabad, the Loyola Center for Research and Development was set up in 1991 and inaugurated by the then governor of Gujarat, Dr. Swaroop Singh. This center has provided an environment to encourage research and development with the participation of students and staff from St. Xavier's College. The centre has a research component with sophisticated equipment and facilities. To support the research work, the centre houses the Grace Braganza Research Wing for Biological Sciences, the Arun Patel Chemical Sciences Laboratory, the Saturnino Braganza Library, Xplant, a student-run company, and the Xavier Institute of Computer Sciences. The Loyola Center for Research and Development has produced a number of PhDs, several of whom are from the staff of St. Xavier's College. The undergraduate level research program offered by Loyola Center for Research and Development is the only one of its kind in the whole of Gujarat. Students from third year biochemistry and biosciences are selected each year to carry out research work in the thrust areas of biotechnology. The Institute conducts regular training workshops on a variety of subjects like biotechnology, plant tissue culture, DNA isolation, DNA purification and RAPD for fingerprinting, techniques in chromatography and so on for the benefit of students from St. Xavier's College Ahmedabad and many other colleges of the country. Vocational courses are also conducted at the Centre Biotechnology for college lecturers. Making use of the research facilities, the biotechnology students of St. Xavier's College have launched an entrepreneurial venture called Xplant. Based on the phenomenon of totipotency, students separate a part of a plant, leaf, node or internode and inoculate it into a nutrient medium. The result is an array of ornamental and medicinal plants in glass cases containing brightly colored media. In the long run, this research in biotechnology could turn out to be a path-breaking opportunity for the tribals to earn a livelihood. 
It may also be possible to use the plant tissue culture technique for proliferation of endangered medicinal plants. If things go well, the rural and tribal population will be able to take up sustainable income generation programs based on this method and also save our forests from degradation. Tribal people with no scientific background are trained in plant tissue culture through various biotechnology workshops with the objective of rural empowerment and generation of livelihood options. Now the main objective of the LoRa Center for Research and Development is to reach out to masses by uh, using scientific techniques. Mm. So as a part of that we have uh, been training to various groups that includes tribal groups also from various regions of South Gujarat as well as North Gujarat. Since our expertise lies in biotechnology, we have trained these groups in five different technologies that includes plant tissue culture, vermicomposting, mushroom cultivation and isolation of uh, molecules from plants as well as neem pesticides development. The center has a database of over a hundred shrubs. The cactus house in the campus with a variety of cacti is also a part of the facilities for research in biology. The facility of the animal house is being used for experiments on effects of medicinal plants. Efforts are on to legitimize cancer-curing properties of certain plants, which will give an impetus to the research in ethnobotany and indigenous medicines. A number of tribals are participating in the Horticulture for Economic Sustainability program conducted by the research center. A professor from the psychology department of the college is investigating signs of confidence and empowerment in the mindset of rural women who participate in the program. The center has facilities for soil testing within the campus. Under a state government supported project, soil samples are being tested here. And over 15,000 farmers of Sanan Taluka will be getting a clear picture of the composition of their soil, enabling them to take up farming in a more meaningful way. At the Industrial Chemistry Lab, students get extensive training in producing commercially viable items like petroleum jelly, liquid soap, car shampoo and labelline. The center has a computer wing established in the year 1982 called the Xavier Institute of Computer Sciences, one of the oldest computer centers in the city of Ahmedabad. It has been a pioneer and innovator in introducing online learning or the system of learning computers through computers. The computer center offers training in software development apart from being a support service for the faculty, students and staff of St. Xavier's College. The computer center has the infrastructure and human expertise to run Gujarat University approved and UGC recognized courses under career oriented programs. These courses are a certificate course in hardware maintenance and a certificate course in bioinformatics. The computer wing also runs a range of diploma and certificate courses in computers. Its postgraduate diploma in computer applications PGDCA is a pioneering course in the city. The center gives one fellowship every year for a postgraduate diploma in computer applications to a deserving candidate based on the student's academic performance and economic situation. The center has an air-conditioned hall with modern facilities for conducting workshops and seminars for the benefit of the student community. The day-to-day -day affairs of the center 
are supported by an efficient team of 18 technical and administrative staff. The centre is getting ready to celebrate its Silver Jubilee in 2012 with more programmes focusing on poverty alleviation and empowerment of the poor. Over the years, the centre has indeed served as a research place for the staff and students of St. Xavier's College and also for other staff and students from other institutions around cities around the city of Ahmedabad. However, from its inception, the dream for this place was that research should be used in order to alleviate poverty. And we believe that ultimately, if poverty is to be alleviated, scientific research and its outcome must be made available to poor sections of society. Today, looking at the progress of the research done at the research center, I will dare to say that we have arrived. And it is with a sense of hope and fulfillment, therefore, that I look forward to the next 25 years of this particular center, that it will succeed more and more in making livelihood options available through scientific interventions for the poor to emancipate themselves from their economic hardships. The use of scientific research facilities for bridging the rural-urban divide has always been the objective of the Loyola Centre for Research and Development. With more funds and more programmes, the centre is hopeful of continuing its role as a premier research facility in Gujarat.